Middle was really important because it sets out a Bill of Rights for women, but also it offers a practical way that governments can look at uh, issues that affect women and actually find policy solutions as well. And it takes an innovative approach because it requires the countries which have signed it, that's almost every country in the world, to take all appropriate steps to eliminate discrimination against women with a view to ensuring their equal development and their equal enjoyment of human rights on a basis of equality with men. Whether you're interested in not being discriminated at work, whether you're interested in the nationality of your children, whether you're interested in full rights to education, any of these areas are covered in CEDAW, so they, um, they are relevant to every woman and girl's life in this country. In our recent work in the Equality and Human Rights Commission, we have found discrimination to continue to be an issue in many ways. For example, we have found that violence against women and girls is a pervasive issue in our country. The pay gap continues to be about 20% between men and women, and women are disproportionately um, represented within pe persons who are paid below the living wage. My committee is particularly focused at the moment on the role of women in the workplace and the gender pay gap. And we're doing a, I think, an important report on looking at how effective the government's policies are in this area. A really important thing that civil society can do is to lobby parliamentarians and civil servants about CEDAW and ensure that they implement all of the um, elements of CEDAW within the UK because it's okay to have something in writing, it's okay to have a huge amount of deliberation on text, but it's civil society that calls governments to account.